everybody what's up how we doing how we doing out there all right so today i am just hanging out um i am making like a super super complicated <laughs> because that's what i've decided right now i wasn't gonna go this complicated but now i'm doing matte board and it is definitely getting into the complicated uh base so here we are and anytime i do something complicated I get something uncomplicated. Ah! Look at my teeth. They're so shiny. See, that was like the bait and switch. So I decided because it's been like chaotic and hectic and all that kind of stuff with like not knowing where to be. And I'm like in the bedroom, so hi. <laughs> um, I just wanted to wear something happy and bright and flowery. So I keep my positive mood up by little things like that, right? And I'm sitting here eating too, which is really good. Oh, mm -hmm. what's up, girl? How you doing? How's your heart doing? I don't like eating. Oh my god, <laughs> I got real, huh? I'm not picking that up. So I'm just chewing on some cauliflower. <laughs> Hello. And I'm going to do art. Meh. Ow. Okay. That's it. Mm. Alright. I have this massive mat board. It's like 30 by 40. Something like that. But I don't have anything here to like cut it easily. Let me wave. Mm, deep. like nothing to cut it easily so I have to cut it really slow really slow and I also have another one that I'm doing on the other side over there um that's it's gonna basically be sandwiched so um I have three different mat boards. They're all going to be different layers. And so that's going to make it really interesting. So I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but I've posted a few times, like shown it, not like posted it yet. This is what I'm working on. There's going to be two, one mat board behind and one mat board in front of this. One mat board is going to have a pair of hands on top of it. And the other one is just going to be a back piece to hold everything in. So... It's kind of making sure that it's super stable and it's kind of completing the piece. Because I wasn't really sure where it was supposed to go. I never know. I never know where it's supposed to go. Yes, no, maybe so. Thing about this is it's just a slow, slow, slow process, right? And when you get tired of doing something, like just switch tasks. Because you know there's other stuff that you can do. Ask. Oh my gosh, my family is just going off on the text right now. Um, that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. That's normal. That's normal. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to get a clean cut. Yeah. But you really do need to go freaking slow. Otherwise, you get some really jacked up edges. The good thing about this, though, is if you're messing up and you're, you know, it's not easy. Like, you don't have the best scissors. Like, you're at home. <laughs> you don't have, like, a, you know, um, it makes it a lot easier. But that's okay. You just take your time. Go really slow. And that's the thing that you can't really, like, show that much about art is that you really do need to take your time. You really do have to go slow. Um, sometimes you don't want to, obviously. But you really have to find that um, rhythm and pace. It's really important. And on things that are harder, just don't hurry. It's like you always get that mentality in art school. is like get, do it quicker. Do it now. Like we only have so many minutes for a pose or so many minutes to sketch or whatever. And like... If you hold on to that urgency, like, the same way in the outside world. Oh, it drives you crazy, my friends. It drives you crazy. See how satisfying that was? A smack! Smack, smack, smack. 
JK. Like, I totally messed it up. All right. So, actually, it's pretty clean. Pretty clean. There's, like, one little fuzzy. And if you just take your time with it and, like, oh, you don't even have to snip it fully. He, <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. So, a turn it, turn it, but turn it. Okay, duck. And I'm just going to go slow on this, too. Now, what I do to make it easier to cut mat board is every time I get a good amount of, like, a chunk, like, say I just have that much scissored. Well, scissored. That's fun. Um, then I just go to the side, side cut, and I s cut this part off. I can use this for other things in the future, too. Say if I want to collage or I could paint on these, I could make, like, something cool, you know? That's my thing. Like, you can make something out of anything if you want to try it. You have to troubleshoot things, but it's, like, super fun to just figure it out, right? I don't know. It is for me anyways. All right. So I was feeling a little stressed earlier um, just because like it's really hard to have your own space when you have your boyfriend home. So I was getting really frustrated that I was cooking and doing stuff and I still had this kind of stuff to do and I couldn't really do it because I had to do stuff for both of us. Whew. So I was getting a little bit like, huh? you know that feeling. As soon as I started cutting and, soon, and like if just right now too and like making what I was making, even though it was taking me a little bit of frustration, I took my time on it and it's, it's like three, six, you know, and sometimes you just need that moment. Like life doesn't always give you that moment to breathe and sometimes you need that moment to breathe. Now, here we go. And also make sure, like, if you're making, make sure you make the right dimensions of whatever mat board you need ahead of time. Measure it out. Plan it out. Take your time with it. Um, this is kind of, a, I'm calling this, like, my three panel style because it's three mat boards together. The thing that I'm working on is a mat board. Um, the piece behind it is a flat, one flat mat board. And the one in front is going to be a hollow mat board. So, um... Three different types of things, and there's different ways to do them, and the other one might take me so much longer, but I'm just going to do the outside boards first, and here's the thing. This stuff is so great. Now, um, I had a couple people say that they want to do art lessons at home. One of the easiest things to teach kids about color is pencils, if you get a full pencil set, and if you take one of these like little mat boards, this is like actually wonderful for pencil. Especially this side, yeah. The, like, little bit. It's got, like, a little color on it. Um, it's, like, taupe or something. I don't know. Um, anyways, off-white. You just put, like, all of the different, um, different, uh, what's it called? Softnesses and hardnesses of, of pencil. Sorry, I am just, my brain is all over the place. Okay. So, yeah. So what you would do if you were trying to do a lesson to find out what things make what color, you would just make a whole little color code of each each brightness and darkness, and that helps you figure out when you're doing a you know a sketch of somebody or whatever, like what colors you need, what what light bright you know colors you need right away. So that's a fun easy thing to do with kids. It helps them see that. If you push the pencil different, you know, ways, yeah, that you get different effects. And that's, like, epic, right? That's super epic. What up? How you doing? So we're sitting here cutting mat board. Mat board. And I was just going over, if you want something simple to do, um, just go ahead and get some pencils and play with the hardness and the likeness and all that good stuff. What up, mall? All right. So, we're token. We're having a good time. It's going to get real. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Nah, don't burn your eyebrows. What's up, girl? How you doing? How's work? Are you able to work from home? I would assume you are. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, what I'm up to right now. 
Still cutting mat boards, still smoking, still enjoying my life. Here we go. Okay. So this is what we have so far. You guys want to see it's a mess. But look at how crispy the edges are. And we love a crispy edge, us artists. We love it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to cut the rest of this. And then um, after that, I'll be on my other channel and I'll, I'll do some stuff over there. So I'm going to do a little bit different on each just so people can follow me on both. And you're not seeing the same thing over and over again. You're like, Deborah, you're boring. And it's like, uh, so sorry. So sorry. How can this be boring? I'm a mess. <laughs> Don't forget to cut stuff away so you can make it. Terrible song. Okay. We're going. We're going. So remember to go slow. Always cut slow. Make sure you know which line you're cutting if you erased a line. That's always really important to like kind of take a mental check or a double check of things. Stuff is happening. I think my family is passing around food pictures right now, which is very fitting. That is who they are as people. It was like all food all the time. Even like when I was growing up and stuff, we were definitely all about food. I think that's why I was a thick kid because I loved McDonald's and everything else. All the bad foods I was like a fan of as a child. Let me tell you everything oh my gosh so one of mm, funny story just random story i'm just gonna talk so um <laughs> when i was in high school i was like because i was a thick thick high school girl um i love top pockets and the lunch lady loved me and i always she would give me extra hot pockets extra cookies those good ass cookies oh my gosh and that like Cookies and cream, ice cream, like the one that's like a massive cup. Huh. Kids. Oh, my gosh. I was such a happy child. In that way. With food, I was like, yes, give me all the food. Give me all the food. I like the food. Yummy, yummy. All right. So, um, I was talking to my mom because my mom's awesome. And um, I will be cooking with her next week. We're going to make, I'm going to make gluten-free tangerine cake. And she's going to make the regular flour version tangerine cake. So I'm really excited um, to do something different. Just in general, I like to do different things. I like cooking. I'm not the best at it. But honestly, it's just fun when you're challenged in a situation to get out of your comfort zone still, you know? And I love baking. I think it's fun. I do, I do, I do. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Still going super, super slow. And the thing about this is you do have to cut away as you go if you're doing a mat board thing. Um, yeah. It's like, oh gosh, right in the freaking chicken. Right in the chicken. Don't get me in the chicken gizzard, please. Oh my gosh. I hate this little fringe because I have a scissor and not like a big, um, huge blade. Ugh, it's the worst. Let's see if I can go the opposite way and cut it off. Cut it off. Let me cut it off. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's so awkward. Thing about Matt Board. Hi. Do you guys see me in there? Hi. The thing about Matt Board. This is so dangerous. <laughs> oh my god. The thing about that board is. <laughs> Who cares? Ah! We made it out alive, guys. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Do you think we were going to make it out? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. You don't know. Okay. So this is what we're left with. Look at that. Blah. You don't want that. That's bleh. No one's gonna buy that. They're gonna be like, Deborah, no. Deborah, no. That's not professional. That's amateurish, my friend. Nobody likes it. Oh, 
get him. Me, 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 in a mad board in a palm tree. Okay. Gosh darn. Almost there. See how long this takes when you have to, you really do have to take your time. And it is good to switch angle. So if like it's not working from a certain angle, just flip it. And I say that with paintings too, guys. If if you're having a problem from one angle and you're not figuring it out, flip the painting. Look at it from a different way. If it's hurting your arm or like whatever, like make it easier for yourself. We always make it harder by just trying to do it the way it is. Sometimes we need to modify it for ourselves. Ah! Oh, fudge buckets. Okay. So there's a little bitty, there we go, a dangler. We've got ourselves a dangler. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's really hard to get off like the sides perfect, um, especially without like something longer. Like scissors are just hard. I do have a razor blade, but I feel like that's going to be rough too. Oh my goodness gracious. Who am I? Crazy beast. Oh, I think I got it almost. Come on, buddy. Now, I'm actually going to put... I might. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I was thinking I'm going to put paper on it, but I'm not sure yet. Just to make it even. Oh, it's so funky. There it goes. Oh, fudge, yes. Okay, cool. Now we got it. Okay. So this is where we're at now. Fantastic. Much better. Sharp edges. Just the way we like it, right? Oh, my gosh. That went right up my butt. No oh boy. <laughs> okay. So here's the second one. Or the, th the third yeah, it's going to be the third one. So I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So this is what I was kind of talking about yesterday. I was talking about hands grabbing like all the supplies that we have. And that's going to be behind her. Um, but so this is what it looks like. Saboop. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So what's going to happen is those are going to be actually realistic. And then around here, I'm basically going to do a border of like teal colors, blue color. I think it's just going to be teal. I'm not sure, but it should be really interesting. So this is going to sandwich on top of this. So those hands are going to reach down right at the top. See how they're like perfectly lined up. I made sure. So that's going to go on top like that. Then you're going to have all the supplies like right behind her. The hands are going to be grabbing for it. And then this right here, this emoji stuff is going to be on this frame. So this like it's just a one inch frame that I made for it around a border, like a little border. So it's going to go right in here. So I'm going to cut this out and actually like use it around the outside. And then this is going to be the backing of it. So all of this is going to be like put together. Um, right? That's a freaking full project, guys. And it's super awesome and super rad and all that good stuff. Um, so I did announce classes online today, $20, $30 if you want it to go to your lesson plan. All options, um, are on my website, on the pricing, Pop-Up Studios OC. So if you, um, just come by, look at what we got and, um, yeah, I can't wait to teach you. It'll be awesome. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So, um, yep, more art coming out. I'm going to keep doing little things like this and just saying hey and checking in with people. And please keep checking in with me. Say what's up. I, I like hearing from people. <laughs> I'm a people person. So say hi. Um, yeah, more art, DebraSlonum.com, PopUpStudiosOC.com. Follow me, message me, DM me.
call me. I got you. All right. Keep being creative. Keep passing around the love and keep learning stuff when you're inside. All right. Bye.